Hello again, welcome to today's attempt at the step door puzzle where it's National Cake Day. Who doesn't love a good cake? Chocolate, thank you. Um, so to mark this occasion I'm going to be using uh, sort of synonyms for cake. I thought about doing flavours of cake, but chocolate doesn't fit, and who needs other types of cake? So we'll start with um, genres of cake if you like. So uh, for example I'm going to go for roll, as in a Swiss roll. I thought that might happen, so I've got a backup of a mess, as in an eaten mess. And that's worked a lot better. So it's probably M-E-A, could be T, M or D as the last letter. There's no guarantee that the A is correct, but let's assume that it is for now. <laughs> and we did get there in the end, it was the T out of my three options. Um, I'm just going to go for the generic cakes as my five letter start. And that's given us two letters definitely could have been worse. Um, you want your cake to have risen, so let's go for that. Ooh, okay, so the R is possibly last. It would be super if this was correct. Oh, a case of a P. I mean it could be strep, but that's not a pleasant word, so I'm going to assume the P is second. We'll go for spree instead. Much more pleasant. A cake eating spree if you like. Uh, for my six letter guess, I'm going to go for Gatto. And Faz worked quite a lot nicer than I thought it might. Okay. So it could be out something. Can't be outage, which is the first thing that spring to my mind. So maybe it's a little bit less likely to be an out beginning. Could be a T U R E ending. Um, but it can't be nature. I would want to use the I or the O as well if I could help it, but I cannot think of anything that works. So let's uh, move on from that train of thought, I suppose. Let's uh, let's try Butler. That doesn't repeat a letter. Okay, that's not helped. It still could be a T U R E ending. At least we know it's not an O U T beginning, but that doesn't massively help. It could be an un beginning, but again, that feels unlikely given that we would have to fit in the E and the R. So, I do think that a T U R E ending is quite likely. Ah, suture, but we can't put the U in second. So, what else could it be? That is the next question. Um, I'm thinking something like that. I mean, the E could be first or second. I suppose the R could be first or second as well. Oh, it could be an RE beginning, couldn't it? Return would work. That's got to be worth a try. Oh, very happy to get that in three. We will end with a roulard. This should be quite a useful word. It's got seven common letters, none of them are duplicates. I bet it's not as useful as it feels like it should be. Okay, I'll take that. More than half the word. We've got four letters already. Now, and we know that the R is the first one, so that definitely should help. Let's try an RE beginning. So then we have to use a D and the O somewhere. Um, I mean, it could be something like removed. I don't really want to try a duplicated E if I can help it. Although, maybe that is actually quite useful because it will test whether the E is after the R and it will test whether it's an ED ending. Either of those is a possibility. Oh, and they're both correct and it is that specific word. Well, that was quite lucky. Um, 4432, definitely got better as we went along. I'm a little bit disappointed. I didn't take five guesses to get that first one because 5432 would have been a much nicer pattern. But I'm not complaining. I think that's the second day in a row that we've had seven guesses left. So clearly the moral of the story is that um, board games and chocolate cake, well I suppose generic types of cake, um, both make me solve puzzles better. This and yesterday's video are the conclusive proof. Anyway, that's the step to puzzle for today. Thank you for watching and now let me cake. Bye for now.